Good morning, grade 2 class. Welcome to another recorded video for today in our uh, language. Now, for today's lesson, let's uh, discuss about saying WH questions found in your rainbows, page 138. So, remember, questions can begin with the words who, what, when, where, and why. So, who is asking about a person. Sa Tagalog niyan ay sino, who. Okay? What is ano? So, it's asking for an object or an event. Um, when is kailan? So, it's asking about time. Also, asking about day. Okay? Uh, where is asking for a place in Tagalog? Saan? And why is asking for an explanation or a reason? In Tagalog, why is bakit? Okay, so these words are being used when we are asking questions. And I think you are uh, familiar already with them since you are already able to ask to ask questions, especially in English. Okay, so let's do this activity on page 138 of your Rainbows in English. Uh, this is just a practice reading, okay? So let's read the following. Mother, let's read all together, go. Why are you in a hurry? Jasmine, my classmate is waiting for me. So the and the question is why. So Jasmine answered with an explanation. Okay. Number two, Anna, who invented the first kite? So the the question is who. So it's asking for a person. Allen's answer is, I think the Chinese did. The answer is Chinese, so person, mga tao. Okay. Last reading, uh, Miss Flores, when did the first air airplane fly? The question is when, kailan. Okay. So the answer of the children is in 1903. 1903 is a year, it's a time. Okay, date. Date yan. Okay, so tama lang yung sagot ng children. Okay, so that's how asking WH questions work, okay? So that's it for our language. Now, we will now proceed with the review about the lesson in the possessive form. So yesterday, diniscuss ko sa inyo sa video din, okay, video number 21 ng possessive form. Sabi ko sa inyo, possessive form of nouns show ownership, okay? Kasi pinapakita niya kung sino yung may-ari. Okay, and ginagawa ito sa pumagitan ng paglalagay ng apostrophe S. But then, pinag-aralan din natin na meron tayong iba't ibang rules na ginagamit. Okay, kung maglalagay ba tayo ng apostrophe S or apostrophe lang. Okay, so ito yung summary. Remember, si apostrophe S, ginagamit lang siya for singular uh, nouns. Okay, so pag singular nouns, doon lang siya ginagamit. Uh, proper nouns, mga totoong pangalan. Plural of irregular nouns and places, universities, and churches. Okay, so yan lang karamihan gumagamit ng apostrophe s. Okay, now the next rule is about the apostrophe lang. Kapag apostrophe lang, plural nouns ending in s. Plural nouns na nagtatapos sa s. So yun lang yung tatandaan natin sa apostrophe. Then yung last is the of phrase for non-living things. So kapag object non-living things, of ang ginagamit. Okay, malinaw po. So, let's do the activity on page 77, surf. So, in this activity, bibigyan ko kayo ng example. Gagawin nyo lang possessive form yung noun na nakaparentesis. So, example here, I found blank, Jake is the owner, bag under, under the table. So, Jake is the owner, ano ang possessive form ng pangalan ni Jake? The answer is Jake's. I found Jake's bag under the table. So, ganyan ang gagawin nyo from number 1 to number 10. Okay? So, that would be all for today. Sabihin nyo sa akin yan sa Google Classroom. Okay? Goodbye, grade 2.